The Governing Council of the Cat Fancy, the GCCF, are advocates for the health and well-being of all cats. This video will provide an overview of the body and limbs, covering all breeds recognised by GCCF for breeders, judges, exhibitors and pet owners. When breeding to modify the shape of any species of animal to produce distinct breed types, there's a danger that selection for exaggerated type may lead to deformities. Some of the defects described in this video can affect the health or comfort of the cat and therefore require correction. Cats which have had such corrective surgery must not be shown. Even if a defect is corrected in the course of performing some other operation, the cat still must not be shown. When considering a cat as part of a potential breeding program, it's important to understand specific traits of a breed and less common defects to ensure breeding is undertaken ethically. Judges are required to withhold first prizes in kitten breed classes when a kitten is not in excellent condition or is undersized for its age and breed. The chest should be rounded or oval symmetrically from spine to breastbone when seen in cross-section. There should be no depressions or protrusions on spine or ribs. Any deviation from normal is a defect. Some cats, when tense, will appear to be hunchbacked. If persuaded to relax, the spine will return to normal. The sternum or breastbone should follow a gentle convex curve with no deviation, depression or protrusion and with no hook where the sternum ends. Fixed deviation or kink at the spine or tail. When a hand is run along the spine, the tail should be felt to continue the line of the spine with no deviation. Although many kinks are at or near the tip of the tail, they can also occur at any point along the spine or tail, or even right at the base of the tail where it leaves the body. The spine should be checked and the tail itself should be felt very gently from various angles. The examination should be deft but brief and gentle. The tail tip should never be twiddled since this can cause soreness. The tail may be felt to have an abnormally blunt or inflexible end or very slight hard or soft swellings without any deviation. And although these do not debar the cat from being placed, they should be taken into consideration when judging the cat. Although a kink in the tail rarely affects the cat in any way, similar kinks in the spine can have more serious consequences. The patella, or kneecap, should lie on the front of the knee joint on the hind leg, moving slightly up and down as the joint bends and straightens. Sometimes a click will be felt when the knee joint is bent or straightened, and this can indicate a luxating patella. If this is suspected, a veterinary surgeon should be consulted. Abnormal number of toes. Anything other than four toes on each foot and one dewclaw on each foreleg. True polydactyly is caused by a dominant gene, so it's very rare in pedigree cats. However, a less common and unconnected condition may be seen in pedigree as well as non-pedigree cats. In these cats, there is a dew claw on the hind legs, similar to that on each front leg, but often placed midway between foot and hock. This can easily be missed, especially in a long-haired cat, unless the legs and feet are examined carefully. When a hand is run along the underside of a cat, a soft swelling may be felt in the midline of the abdomen, behind the end of the sternum. This usually indicates an umbilical hernia. Sometimes this swelling disappears with gentle pressure on it, but the rim of the hernia can usually still be felt. An inguinal hernia can sometimes be detected in the groin region, but can easily be confused with inguinal fat. If a hernia is suspected, a veterinary surgeon should be consulted to confirm its presence or absence. Monorchid or cryptorchid adult males. Any entire adult male cat, nine calendar months of age or more, which doesn't have both testicles fully descended into the scrotum, must be disqualified from competition and should indeed be rejected at vetting in. Although kittens are not rejected or disqualified for this fault, they should not be selected as future studs. A certificate of entirety is required for any stud before his progeny may be registered. For more information on the GCCF list of veterinary defects and withholding faults, please visit the website.